Um, I'm on camera, I guess. I am going to perform a heroic song. Heroic songs have been around for uh, over 2,500 years. Many of them are about monsters like Beowulf or important kings or famous warriors, but there's also a type of saga called a chanson de guest in French or a heroic act or deed. That kind of saga talks about the unexpected hero, not the king, not the famous warrior, but an ordinary person who in extraordinary situations becomes a hero. I believe, as I have researched this type of heroic saga, that this may well be one of the things that holds all of us so closely to our, our known world and our beloved society, because I believe we need heroes, and there aren't many chances in the modern world, perhaps, to find a, a way to be a hero. Uh, and this is one example of a hero an ordinary person who stepped up in extraordinary circumstances that I witnessed at Quest for Camelot a number of years back. They stand now at the foot of the faces of great men of old, in the tall shadow of the crazed horse from the North Shield came 15 fighters. For the outlands, Lord Eiji stood alone. He stood alone against Robert of the Eagles and lost. He stood against the Lady of the Velvets and defeated her in fair battle. He stood and lost to the Maiden of the Whirling Dervish, defeated perhaps as much by her beauty as by the cloak she called Raven. Against them all, Lord Uji stood alone. Now comes the final battle. The winner of this will carry the day. Comes Master Julio, who leans to Lord Uji and says, I fought you a year ago as a green lad, but hear me well. I know I fight a man today, and I will give no quarter. They bow for honor, and the battle begins. Lord Uji's foot slips, a blade strikes home, and the Lord nods his defeat to the master. But the master won't take victory from the slipped foot. A hand extends to help, not to strike. They bow again, and the battle begins more. Lord Uji strikes, a killing blow but glancing. The master nods his defeat to the Lord, but the Lord won't take defeat from a poor or won't take victory from a poorly struck blow. They bow once again, and the battle begins again. Both Lord and Master strike at the same time with killing blows. They go to the queen and ask for permission to declare, to declare that no one has won and the match is a tie, seating the point. That day, Outland's North Shield took, stood together as one. That night, the people gathered to hear the voices of their kings and their queens who declared on the field of battle today there were no victors, there were no enemies, there were no foes. There were only warriors covered in honor. We declare both fighters have won. Heed me well, you fighters, as you wend your way home. Lie safe in your burrows, snug in your homes. Dream there of battle, of victory fair fought. But dream also of honor doing what's right. For there in the north, there are warriors untold who have your name written on their swords. Warriors who can't wait to hack at your bones. Honor forever what you know to be true. 
Pain is fleeting, the story is well known. Glory forever, tis well spoken true. But honor speaks truer, for it speaks from the heart. So remember, remember that day one time in the spring. Remember Lord Uji, who stood against them all. Remember master, the master who fought fair and true. Remember two warriors who fought there with honor, for they fought from their hearts.